Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Nebraska Bassing. Today I've got something special to share with you, and it is in this package. Now I got this about two weeks ago, like I actually ordered online, and then it just arrived today. And I'm going to show, open it up and show you all what's inside. I posted a picture on our Instagram of what this video consisted of, and um, I'm excited to actually share it with all y'all. Got the receipt. First thing on the receipt is is the three fourths ounce instigator jig, and this is a flipping jig in the color blue steel. In the color blue steel, it's got the blue and black skirt with blue flake in both the blue and the black silicone. Now this is a flipping jig, it's got a giant hook on there, very, sh very, very sharp hook, and a very tough weed guard. Hopefully that will keep all of the weeds out of my hook and off my trailer. The head design here, <clears throat> I really like how the line tie is connected to the head, unlike the head of this jig here. That'll help with keeping the weeds and it keep it from tangling and fraying on rocks and sticks or whatever you're flipping into. Now I'm really excited to finally get into some jig fishing. I'm going to throw this out in the timber out at one of the big lakes here in Nebraska. But to have a beautiful jig like this, you have to have a beautiful trailer. All right, the trailer that I would use for this jig specifically is also made by Riot Baits. It is called the Black and Blue R Craw, or actually it's more like Blue Steel. It's the exact same color as the jig. And I don't have any of those right now. Until I get some, the thing I re would recommend is the black and blue trigger cross by Berkeley Powerbait. Texas rig, rig that right up there. And then this weed guard here will keep it weedless for you. And a very appealing presentation. The next thing on my list is the Riot Baits Riot Stick. Now this is what a very unique color. This is called Tidal Blue. It is a green pumpkin with a shiny or chrome blue with a black fleck. The plastic on this is very strong, very durable, and lasts me multiple fish. Next thing is the Fuzzy Beavers. The color of this is called Cool Kiwi. Cool spelled K E W L. And it suits this bait perfectly because this bait is very cool. Now we got the cool, the cool kiwi <clears throat> is a green pumpkin and black fleck. And on the bottom is a kiwi color with black fleck, obviously resembling the seeds of a kiwi. Now what's really cool about this bait is the little ribs right there. These trap air bubbles and when the bait goes down, it sends the air bubbles up and creating a reaction strike with this as it goes down and it also helps keep the pincers or the claws up in the air like so. So you just peg this with a weight there or you can put it on some sort of jig, preferably a stand-up jig. So I got through those three. Um, the next thing I have, I didn't actually order this, I don't know if this I got this for free or made it, it was just a mistake. This is called the Relic and the color is called Money. Look at that. The color money is a green pumpkin on the bottom and a sort of June bug color on the top. It's got the twirling pincers down here. Uh, this looks very similar to a craw to me, but these pincers, the twirl, they move lots of water and create lots of vibrations, as well as the skirt on top, lots of movement more of a finesse for the bass. It's something to keep the bass holding on longer because they can feel it moving in their mouth as they move water through their mouth. <clears throat> That's very important. They like, the bass like to have, uh, bass like to eat, I don't know, what am I trying to say? When a bass bites your lure, it is very important that the lure feels like it's an actual fish, bait fish, or whatever, eating a croc, and these, will move in the bass's mouth, making the bass think it's actually alive and it will hold on longer. Very unique bait. 
So we take the ow, ow, ow. We take the four aught mustad hook, Texas rig it, then peg a weight on top. This is a very big weight for something like this. Probably use something smaller, like, and this would be very good for almost like jig fishing or like swim. A swimming bait? I don't know if that's what you would call it or not. Very cool looking bait, very excited to use this. Now after going through all these baits, I am very, very, very excited for this spring and to fill all my soft plastic boxes with the Riot Baits Company soft plastic. Very good soft plastic, very high quality soft plastic, very high quality jig. The look of this jig and the feel, the tension of the hook or how durable the hook is very high quality made jig very excited to use this and I can't wait to get more of these very excited to get more into jig fishing I think I said it earlier but when I used to do jig fishing I was not doing it right by any means I have definitely figured that out and I now know what to do I can't get over how cool that looks um, me and Noah are very excited to be uh, working with Riot Bates called a partnership but we have been in touch with Riot Baits, and we will bring lots of more, lots more content using Riot Baits gear in the spring and in the future. One thing we're looking forward to is the spring when we can throw these and do underwater footage for you guys. We are going to experiment with the GoPro. We're going to put it under the water, and we're going to show you how these baits work, like this, the relic here with the skirt on top. It's technically called a spider hub. Yeah, it's a craw creature bait with a spider hub. That's what the relic is, is described as. And very excited to show you what the fuzzy beaver does and how all of these baits work, how they look underwater, and how they attract the big fish. And as I was looking over the packages here from Riot Baits, I noticed that they have two paragraphs on the back of their packages, and I'm going to read what they say. It says, Born from bogs, bayous, river basins, natural lakes, and dammed impoundments, riot baits are designed to, designed to entice and catch big bass. Tournament proven riot baits are owned by hardworking Americans and are proudly made in the U.S. Whether you are a weekend warrior or a seasoned professional, riot baits will help you get more bites and land more fish. Check out the complete line of Riot Baits soft plastics, jigs, and terminal tackle at riotbaits.com. I'll put that on the screen. I will also link the Riot Baits website in the description and their Instagram in the description. Now, before you go do anything else, I want you to go follow Riot Baits on Instagram because they are an amazing company, great company, good people. Um, I really like what they have to offer. Their website's got a ton of stuff on it. They got the fuzzy beavers, the the craws, riot sticks, the urn something worm. I don't know. I have no idea what it's called, but it's it looks cool. I'll put a picture of it right here. Now, and then they have the relic, and they have the streaker, which is a uh, swim bait, which is a boot tail looking swim bait. Let's see. They've got jigs and bladed jigs. They got tungsten, soft plastics. Spinnerbaits, buzzbaits, and terminal, terminal tackle. A lot of cool stuff. So go check them out. I will put them in the description. Go check these dudes out. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, comment. Don't forget to fish on. Weekend warrior or a seasoned professional, Riot Baits will help you and get help will 